All right, guys, so now is a good time to go ahead and get your um, flight controller. And remember, your arrow on the flight controller is pointing forward wherever the front is. So go ahead and just put that back on now. Uh, your only thing you're left to do here is going to be to solder the uh, motors on. And to do that, we want to make sure that we know uh, how much wire we need. So you can go ahead and put your flight controller on, and you can get those um, standoffs that we're going to use. And you can start screwing those back on right now because the board's going to need to stay in place anyway. So now's a good time to just go ahead and do that. And if you have the – just finger tighten them for the time being, I mean, just to get them on there. All right, and then we got one more. Perfect. Okay, once you do that, if you want to tighten it down, you can because this board should not be coming off. So this is pretty much your final step on the board. So you go ahead and just tighten these down. I would recommend that you hold the standoff and you and you tighten the screw from the bottom because sometimes people will take out those uh, those socket wrenches or whatever to tighten these, and you'll end up click hitting one of these components on here and knocking it off. So just learn to do it this way. It's just a safer way to do it, safer method. Okay. Um, anyway, so that's about it here. So what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and grab our motors. Uh, and let's pop them open here. Okay. These motors are pretty easy because all you're going to do is you're going to cut the motor at the um, right at the uh, plug. Okay. You're not going to try to measure this. So just take your motor, cut it. All of them are going to be the same way, so do all four motors the same way. Let me get the other ones. Put the screws and stuff aside for the time being. Again, just cut the white plug off and throw that out. You will not be using that, and you will not need it again. Okay, once that's done, let's go ahead and, uh, where's my strippers here? Go ahead and strip the wire. Okay, so you're going to do them all pretty much exactly the same one. You don't need that much wire exposed. A millimeter would be fine. It's pretty tiny because the pads are pretty tiny anyway. There's one done. Just go ahead and do all four. We're going to tin them all at the same time and just knock them all out at one time. Sometimes I do one motor at a time, but because all these are going to be the same length of wire, there's no guessing here. You might as well just do it. There you go. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. Last day of March, babe. I know. My birthday came and went. How sad. I know. I'm old, too. Your birthday's coming up. Long way away. Man, you're the hottest 40 year old I've ever seen. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, one. All right, guys, we're about done here. Two. And we got one more here. So where is it? Where did I go with it? Here it is. Three. All right, there you go. Now, I got all these little black pieces on here. Don't worry about that. Uh, get your flux pen and just go at it. Okay, do, get all of them. Two. Three and four. Okay, there we go. Put that aside. Just like we did the rest of the wire, hold the silver, spin it, get that, get those strands wound up as much as possible. They're pretty short, so it might be a little difficult. If you find it's a little difficult, just like on this one, I'm just gonna pull a little bit. Whoops. Let's strip a little bit more of this because I don't really have much showing there. Okay, a little too much now, but that's all right. Alright. One, two. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to make all these a little bit more. I want, I'll need a little bit more wire here. Because what ends up happening is when you put it on there, the wire sometimes can get pulled back into that sheath real quick. And if it does, 
then you like really have no wire. So there we go. Uh, these might be okay. Let me see one, two, three, four, yeah. And then this one, I think that one's a little short. Let me, there we go, one. and we'll do the third one okay all right now get your helping hands or whatever you're going to use one motor at a time spread the wires out so that they are in distance from each other make sure those strands are put in there and clamp it down and tin it okay so here we go Tin the first one one Two and three. Okay. That's the long one there. Not bad. It's in this one. One, two. Put a little bit more on that one. Okay. Let's go to the third one. One, two, three. And then let's do this one. Perfect. Okay. So normally I would uh, screw the screw the motor in first, right? Like uh, tighten the motor down and then do this. But because all the wires are the same length and I don't have a choice as to how I'm going to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and while they're sitting here, just to make it easier on me, I'm just going to solder them in. Okay. So I'm just going to go one. It's going to be very quick. One. Two, three, okay. That wire's a little too long, so let me just trim that back just a little bit. There we go. You leaving? No, come on. Are they, well, did you have the order to count it against? No, no, I just... It's in stocky. Oh, it is? Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. So now that we're done, see, look, because it doesn't make a difference. No matter what you did, mounting them isn't going to make a difference on how the wires are run. So you might as well go ahead and just knock that out. Now, now that that's done, let's clean up our table again. Okay, let's get all this crap out of here. Vacuum it up later or do whatever, but just get it off your bench right now. You don't need any pieces getting stuck in these motors. All right, let's get this back on here. And now what we can do is we can take like this bag that came with the screws and let's see what's gonna work because let's see what we got here, right? Okay, because don't forget you've got your You've got your uh, prop guards you have to put on too, okay? So here's a rule on the prop guards real quickly. If you look at the prop guards here, you're going to see a, the side of it has three holes, right? As, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let's just stop here. Make sure your motors are ready. We'll come back with the next part of this video and start from the